Caves are some of the last frontiers of geographical knowledge. However, what I love most about them is the way they make you see far beyond the obvious. Devoid of life at first glance, caves are actually home to many species of animals. Some of them, like bats, only roost underground, but others have completely adapted to life without the sunlight at the surface. What is even more exciting is the microbial world of caves. Adapted to an environment that is extremely poor in nutrients, some cave microbes can literally eat stones. In a process called chemoautotrophy, they can convert the energy of inorganic chemical reactions and produce their own biomolecules. In search of chemotrophs, my team and I joined the expeditions to Kolkinodukta, the deepest cave in Bulgaria. Situated on a hill close to Gisko Gorge, Kolkinodukta used to be just a small pit until 2009, when a group of brave enthusiasts pushed through a narrow part at the bottom. Now, the whole system approaches a depth of 600 meters and a length of 12 kilometers, and the end of its galleries doesn't seem to be anywhere near. In March 2019, we finally managed to reach its deepest parts and collect samples from places where no human had set foot before. For that, we went down a series of vertical passages, sometimes so wet that it feels like under a cold shower. Then, there were the narrow parts, where you cannot turn your head around, and the flooded parts, where you barely have space for breathing. An expedition usually takes around a week, and the trip underground camps become our homes, where we can rest in relative warmth and comfort. Fixing ropes, moving the loose rocks, or mapping the cave is usually a priority, so we need to support the work of these main teams before they could support ours. At the end, it took us almost a year to find and study the right sampling sites, but it was worth it. We have our first colonies growing in the dish. If we continue sampling the same places each year, we'll be able not only to describe a microbial community far under the surface, but to quantify human impact on the cave ecosystem. We hope our results will help us take a better care of caves and to inspire others to explore beyond the obvious.